So yoga is intimacy with life in every way. And one of the uh, aspects of life in every way is this relationship we have with somebody who's able to share with us their um, experience of life, or their yoga experience, you might say. And that you come in, and that's just one of the intimacies of life that is a natural phenomena. You know, see, the teacher's no more than a friend, no less than a friend. Uh, the teacher is the uh, function of nurturing of Mother Nature, of Mother Nature in local community. That's what it is. And we don't have teachers. We're doomed <laughs> you know, in the human situation. We have to teach. And even where it's kind of difficult to teach because of the yoga circus of studios and brands and styles and you know, mediocre gymnastics that's been popularized as yoga around the world, so that puts us off. We're sick of it, you know, this branding. But my view is don't let anything hold you back. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to do something that's authentic to your life. And that's to share your own experience of being in life free of problem has overwhelmed you. It's just come into you where you realize that you're a column of air, a column of energy, descending and ascending. You felt it, you felt your tangible relatedness to all conditions, you felt your body as arising in life itself as life and the power and the beauty and the intelligence, the intrinsic harmony, you felt that. And you may not be feeling it all the time. There may be the drone of the social patterning still on you and all the pain and all the hurt and resentments and everything might still be there but you have felt this in a startling recognition that you cannot ignore any longer <laughs> if you ignore it you know and you can ignore it some people do ignore it and become alcoholics or cannabis freaks or something you know bleh, down sedated um, but you know as Rumi said Come back, come back, come back. You fall down a thousand times, you can come back. In the thousandth time, and you, you know. So there's no, there's never a time when you can't say, okay, I've got it. I am the power of the cosmos. Look at this body, wow. It might even be a sick body, but it's still the wonder of life. And then and you do your appropriate sadhana in that, and then you go and share it, decide to do it. And what's the minimum number for a class? The answer is one. <laughs> if you get one student, it's good. Yoga teacher is not a social identity, not a personal identity. There's no measure to it. It's the function of nurturing and local, and you are that.